Hey. I was testing the Bixby thing. I thought it was late. The what? The Bixby. Um, uh, you what? can speak voice commands to it. So watch Ooh, this. Good. Wait, wait. Where should we go? Oh shit. Where should we go to eat? Okay, it's not working. Navigate to Buddy's Burgers and Media PA. Oh my god, I'm supposed to be driving. Can you know this? That's even nice. These burgers, ours. We ate over there and thought it was going to be behind the burgers. Huh. Okay. It's not recognized. Let me try it I'll again. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I'm going to check right now while you mess around with your phone. What are the hours for Buddy's Burgers? Let's take a look at what I found on the web. You are so weird. Open camera and take a photo. <laughs> hey! Sure, I captured it. Hey! You're such a weirdo. What? Oh, I have to hold down a button, I always forget that. Where can I get ice cream from? So sometimes it doesn't work. No, Froyo. Oh, okay. Where can I get Froyo from? It's been a long day of recording using Bixby, so I want to see if Bixby can tell me how many videos did I take today. Uh, let's do this. How many videos and pictures did I take today? Okay, I found five pictures. Wow, nice. The last photo I took, add a black and white filter to it and post it to Instagram. The last photo I took, post it to Instagram. Hmm? Talk to my phone. Hey. Sure Let's check your caption and post it. Hey Bixby. Do I have any notifications? So guys, today has been a fun day with Bixby. Overall, I don't think it's a bad product. When it comes to performing with system apps and uh, other apps, it does a good job. It's able to find the last photo I took, upload that to Instagram, being able to turn on off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff like that. Bixby really excels with those functionalities. But for me, where Bixby falls a little short at is when it comes to contextual information and information about what's around me. When asking questions like, you know, what ice cream shops are near me, it seems to have a hard time with that basic understanding, and that's where Google Now excels at. But then again, Google Now does fall short because it doesn't provide all the in-app functionality that Bixby does. Also, I do find Bixby to be a little bit slow at times, but it could just be the overall software on the Galaxy S8. So guys, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go, follow me on social media, and as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.